Hi guys, welcome to this self-paced lab about Volt uh, with Kubernetes, where Volt is a certificate manager. This is an interactive lab, so the steps describe what you can do and you can start the terminal here, that just does not work. So I've prepared separate hosts for that, uh, that we're gonna run the steps on. So those separate hosts, they are prepared. Let me just briefly run you through them. Uh, there's this code here, and if you go to github slash robertabock and then search for Ansible Playbook Minikube, you can set them up yourself. Uh, basically, they just install uh, Minikube, Helm, and Kubernetes. So that means we can now log into the machine. Uh, and it's this one in this case. And before you start, you should switch to Minikube. And that's it. And now one of the first steps in the lab, you can skip a few because we're not gonna run it in this browser terminal, uh, is right around here. Uh, so we need to clone some repositories that has some code that we're gonna use here as Minikube, takes a few seconds, and you can go into the directory. Uh, what I've seen, uh, some of these copy-paste buttons do work and some copy a bit too much, the output also. So sometimes you have to select the command and paste that in. Most of the time you can use the copy button. First step is to start Minikube. Minikube is a small Kubernetes envi environment. Uh, it's not production ready, it's just good for demos or uh, labs like these. Minikube start. Uh, that will take a couple of seconds because it's going to download stuff. This host uh, lives uh, at DigitalOcean. It's connected quite well, but it's not a super quick machine. Uh, so this takes a minute or so. After that, we have all the facilities for Kubernetes, uh, but on a small single machine. So it's good to, uh, to try and experiment. There it is. So now we can verify that it ran successfully. And if it's all running and configured, you're good to go. So that, now that Minikube is running, we can add some repository for Helm charts. You can still copy paste everything here. That just adds the repository, but doesn't really get anything. So with Helm repo update, we receive all the charts that are in such a repository. And that means we can start Vault using Helm. Um, Let's go, there we are. And if you get the pods, you'll notice that it's not, uh, did we skip a step? No, you'll notice that it's not ready. It is there and it will never be ready. Uh, that's until we initialize and unseal vault. So once again, you can run this over and over again. It will never be ready. Uh, we'll get it ready in the next section. So we've um, installed Vault using Helm, so we can start to configure and use Vault. In this case, uh, we're gonna start Vault with a single uh, key shard. That is not production ready, but it's good for this environment. And we'll save the unseal key and the root key in a file that we're gonna pick up on later. Um, that's it, so we now have initialized the vault operator in it uh, initialized vault and that file just contains probably json stuff uh, cat this and that and you'll see the unseal key and the root token that's what we're going to use for now here they demonstrate that you can uh, get the key out or the unseal key you can also save it and that's what we're going to do because we need it a little later there it is and you can also of course echo it vault unseal key i should copy paste more there it is same value as this value um, when it's initialized it means that the backend is there it's encrypted with that key uh, but it's it's not unsealed yet we need to unseal it each time you start up a vault instance it needs to be unsealed typically you do that with three people, or five people or so. In this case, it's a demo. One person is good enough. And you see now that it's not sealed anymore. So that's good. Uh, and the pod should get ready. 
as you see I'm starting to copy paste the commands because by now I think the copy button takes also the output which results in small errors not problematic but ugly yeah so that is ready now and besides that key we also need the root token uh, I don't need to see it that is fine I'll just save it immediately there we go and now that we have it we can also log in and with logging in we can start to use or configure vault that's done now logged in for eternity good for us I'll probably destroy the whole environment in a couple of minutes so that's it for configuring or initializing and unsealing vault so we've just initialized and unsealed vault so that means we can start to use it and configure it and that's what we'll do now first let's log in to the container <coughs> that's it and we can start to use it what we're going to do here is enable a pki secrets engine so each secrets engine needs to be enabled and configured so that's what we're going to do now and we're going to tune it a bit and we'll write, uh, sorry, we'll initialize a self-signed CA in this case. Uh, especially here, don't use this button, copy paste just that command, so it's three lines, so that you can start to use it. There it is. Uh, we get these certificates, we don't specifically need them by now. Um, next up, we're gonna need to configure the revocation location and the issuing location. There we go. And in this case, we're going to create a role with a policy attached to that role. Just copy paste everything in. Should probably drag it up a bit. Eh? I'll clear my screen so it's back on the top. And in this case, let's just write in a file and I just as input, uh, bring this whole policy in and attach it to the role PKI. That's it. And it says to exit, but we're going to enter it again in a bit. So I don't think you need to exit. You can, but we'll enter it again in a bit. So Vault just been configured to use Kubernetes for authentication. And now we're going to deploy a certificate manager. Uh, here's the steps. It's a single line, actually. And I think, once again, if you copy the whole part, you probably copy a bit too much, including the output. Let's paste this. Oh, that's oh yeah. I should have exited. I did. I copied the dollar sign. Okay, all are created. Great. Next, we can create a namespace. Perfect. And we can add yet another uh, Helm, <coughs> sorry Helm repository. In this case, for Jetstack. And we need to update the repository in order to receive the list of charts. And now we can install or deploy this, uh, this certificate manager. Here we go. Yeah, that looks good. See some errors passing by, should not be an issue it'll end up, uh, it's being deployed successfully. Good enough. Uh, so now let's have a look at the pods in this specific namespace. And we need to wait a bit. It's probably pulling container images. Yeah, it's getting more and more ready. Give this a minute or so. Maybe I can use a watch. Yeah. <clears throat> watch is a little tool to loop over command over and over, specific for these kinds of use cases where you want to know when it's done. It runs every two seconds, but it's configurable. There it is. It's ready. Everything's ready. And that's it for the deployment of the cert manager. So now that the cert manager is configured, we can actually start to create an issuer and uh, generate certificates. So let's first create a service account 
called issuer there we go and let's have a look at what secrets we now have there should be one extra a couple of seconds old <coughs> there it is our extra secret and let's store that value in a variable we'll, we'll use it later on let's double check if it's there and let's copy paste them such a great typer yeah that's perfect now what we're gonna do here is um, tell Kubernetes to make a Vault issuer. And this is where it relates, a Vault, here it is, uh, with this secret. So let's pop this in. Here we go, so we now have just a file with one uh, variable that should have been rendered to that value. Get yeah, it is. so here's that single value. And now we can start to apply that. Oh, let's bring it to the top. Uh, kubectl apply. Perfect. And you can read a bit more information here too, by the way. And finally, we can make a certificate, or at least the file that can be applied to create a certificate using Vault. Here's the file. Is there any variable in here? No, none. So that should be exactly the same. Here it is. And we can start to apply that. Here it is. And that's applied. So Cert Manager has now contacted Vault for that certificate. And that's now configured. Um, and we can probably also describe it, sure. Bring it back to the top. It is quite a long list, uh, but the cert manager a couple of seconds ago uh, processed this uh, request. So that's it. Uh, that's how you can configure uh, Vault uh, and Kubernetes, or actually Kubernetes, to use cert manager to use Vault uh, to issue certificates. Hope that's helpful. helpful. See you next time.